Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The leaks are in. Yeah, we're talking about Team of the Year because we are only less than three days away from Team of the Year actually starting on this game. We've got Team of the Year warm-up series with packs. We have market prices moving up in some areas and moving down in a lot of others as the panic is here on the market. There are a lot of prices crashing, but also our investments that we made earlier in the weekend, last weekend, are going up a ton because of all the SBCs that are getting released. And of course, the biggest news right now is the entire men's Team of the Year players have been leaked this squad we know every single player in the team we're going to take a look at that today and what that could mean for the market today what other leaks could be coming out and everything else that's going on in this game if you're excited for team of the year if this has got the hype flowing for you like it has for me drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new let's look over yesterday's content there actually was a decent amount to look at with the versus cards going out of packs and team of the warm-up series coming into play ea started off with a kind of a bang right now this sbc i'm not going to recommend that you do it but a lot of people are doing it it's a party bag sbc a player pick 87 plus radioactive ultimate dynasties or team of the group stage player pick and man the weight on these I've seen a lot of really bad pulls. It seems like the same three or four cards are almost in every single player pick. It's those lower rated 87 like Mehdi Taremi, uh, Mendy from the Saudi League, and Zidane's son like the Ultimate Dynasty's Zidane Keeper. Very, very common in these, but there have been people getting some decent stuff from these. What I would say to you is, right now is such an important time for getting packs for Team of the Year. This is an SBC that expires in six days and refreshes in two. By the time we start opening even some of our packs in the next couple of days that we'll maybe open a couple of packs for, um, I think this is an SBC that you'll be able to have opportunities to craft more times down the line. So if you say no to it right now, I think it'll still be there when you have a little bit more fodder. So that's what I would do if I were you. But a lot of people opened this yesterday. You can tell on the market also because of the cards that are in this that are given out from this. Yes, they're untradeable. But people are going and selling the tradable versions on the market. Even though the pack weight's bad, people are doing these SBCs right, left, and center because these are the fun SBCs in this game. And you can tell that people were packing Cancelo yesterday. 280,000 coins all the way down to 250k. And he's very low. All the Cancelo special cards were dropping yesterday because I heard that at least a decent amount of people were packing this 89 Cancelo from this player pick. Some Ultimate Dynasties cards and Radioactive cards on that middle to lower tier, like Anderson Taliska is a Radioactive card. It's down crazy because um, of that SBC and a lot of people doing it. Now, it made fodder go up, but we're going to talk about an, another SBC that made fodder go up before we look at that specifically. The other big SBC yesterday was our first Team of the Year pack save pack. This pack is literally here to save for Team of the Year. We know this, right? We've talked about it. We saw it in the code. We have prepared. We have invested for this. 83 plus times five attackers upgrade. Now, you can do it three times. I've done it all three. You can't do it a time more. It doesn't refresh. It's not going to come back today. It is a three times and done SBC. And this is a specific pack to save for this Friday when we expect the attackers of team of the year to be released in packs, not the whole team. We'll talk more about that when we look at the team that is leaked. But this SBC and the party bag combined are making fodder prices move. Fodder absolutely exploded. And I'm glad that we talked about it for days on end because it was it had to happen. It was only going to happen, right? 84s, 2.6K, 85s, 6,000 coins, 83s, 1.6K. They're up like 600 coins. They were 1,000 coins yesterday. They're up to 1.6K. Big rise there. But with the 86 squad requirement inside of the player pick and the 83 times 5 actually requiring an 87 rated player, those 87s are yet again absolutely exploding, right? We picked up some of these for 12,000 coins Monday night on bid. They went all the way up to 16,000 coins. Guys, the lazy listing right now is absolutely phenomenal. Fodder has boomed, but it's probably not done rising because once again, right, they did refresh some packs in the store. So there's a little bit of supply, but how many people are opening packs right now, especially with no promo cards in packs? Right now, it's all about save your packs, save, 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 because team of the year is starting this Friday. Now, one of the packs they dropped was the 600K pack. Of course, it's all untradeable. Um, I feel like if anybody's opening packs in the store right now, it's they're a gamble for this one, which is the pack that guarantees two UEFA heroes and it is pretty crazy because it gives you an 82 times 100 and an 87 times 10 all in the same pack 
the, the percentage isn't here for getting high rated players like 90 plus players 69 percent um team of the week player 91 percent that's a crazy expensive pack but it is untradeable like not a lot of people are opening packs right now in this game right and that is why fodder is probably going to go even higher today now i'm opening some packs any pack that doesn't have like an 83 or an 84 rated plus requirement in it I am not saving because there are 83 times 10s that I have to craft right now. There are other SPCs like, you know, the 83 pluses that are going to continue to come out. We're going to get more of those team of the year warm-up packs today. So I'm opening a few packs just to get that fodder to craft into like the winter wild cards crafting upgrade into maybe the team league player pick if I need one or into the 83 times 10. So I'm doing some of those, but a lot of the bigger packs, as I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing you're saving for team of the year. Now, here's some of the lazy listings that I'm showing you. I sold so many of my 87s yesterday, listed them just under 17,000 coins. I was selling 88s at 23, and I even sold a Messi at 59,000 coins. He's like 55K. Um, like, keep lazy listing your fodder. I still have a good amount, not a ton here on my transfer list, but I still have a good amount. A lot of this I'm saving for SBCs, but what I will say is, guys, fodder is going to go up again today. Just took the long route of saying that right there, looking at the store, looking at those prices. Fodder should go up today. If I would say, is, is there investment opportunity still with this? If there's any part of the fodder market that I think can still go up more, it's probably 84s and maybe 85s. Like if you can get some bids on 85s at like 5.5K or 5.6K, I just feel like maybe with the SBCs that are upcoming still, like think about an 83 plus times 5 midfielder and 83 plus times defenders should be a little bit cheaper than the attackers pack. So maybe they make it like an 83 rated squad with an 85. Maybe they require 85 specifically today like they did with the 87s yesterday in this pack. That's the only rating of fodder that I think is still a little bit low that could go up a bit more for the type of SBCs that we're going to get right now. So if you want to try to send it on like a one-day investment, you could go ahead and do that. Now, also, we got more content to talk about. We can't talk about fodder forever. There was the beginning of the daily logins through Team of the Year. That started yesterday as well. Um, it's simple, right? As always, all you need is one bronze player. And we also had the Thierry Henry Icon SBC, guys. This was leaked before content yesterday. We didn't even get to talk about it in yesterday's video. Base Henri was dropped as SBC. And honestly, the price here is not bad. I mean, Henri was over a million coins when I packed him last week, like 1.1 mil. His SBC is 900K, and it's actually going up because fodder is going up as well, right? People are liking this SBC, and of course, it's making Henri's card on the market drop off a ton. He's 700,000 coins now, so he's dropped off a lot. I don't think this SBC is terrible value, kind of like how I said it yesterday when we were talking about Zico and we were talking about Cafu. EA is not going to make these SBCs incredibly cheap because they know in the next two, three weeks in this game, as we're all ripping packs for Team of the Year, there's going to be so much fodder going around and we are going to have fodder in our clubs to get SBCs like that done and to really craft them. So uh, that's something to watch out for there. I will say one thing we notice about Team of the Year warm-up series, they're doing the daily icon player SBCs once again. So that means either Zico or Cafu is coming today, and we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end of the video too. Also in objectives, we've got a Team of the Year daily play and also a uh, the, the completionist. We got that. And then in the milestones tab, if you missed it, we have the Team of the Year daily login. It's under the milestones tabs. Make sure you don't miss that because uh, the season is going to be ending very soon. So that is there. And uh, yeah, the rewards are decent. They're not that crazy, but you put a bronze player in every day, you work up to an 83 times 20. Nobody is going to complain about one of those. I'm also really a fan of the daily play. Like it's not that hard to get done, especially if you're doing Evos. And I just absolutely love the amount of fodder that you get for that, which is almost like quote unquote free, right? Just play your games for rivals every week, play your games for, um, you know, champs and squad battles to do evos and boom, you're going to get yourself some coins and some packs. So I like that. That's a W. Now, a couple of other housekeeping things. Actually, before we get to those, we got to talk about the evolution. I almost forgot about it because to me, it's not that good. And we knew it was not going to be that good. Guys, it's the Icon Evo. It was finally released and it's exactly as leaked, right? The requirements are exactly the same. The upgrades exactly the same. I even have Zola in my club that I packed that I think I'm I thought I might do this Evo, but like, I don't know if I'm just being like, I don't know. I, I don't think that's good. That's just my opinion. It's a decent upgrade, but do I want to pay 200K for that card that doesn't fit my team? And also make an icon card, just a normal Evo card design. 
I feel like that takes away from the card a little bit. And it looks weird because like the icons are black and white rendered, right? They don't have color in their images. Um, and then, you know, you have a very colorful golden green Evo design. I just don't like the way that it looks. And I'm being really picky about it. But that's just what I think, man. I'm not a huge fan uh, of that icon upgrade. I think it's expensive. The upgrade's not as good as it could be. And the players that fit in it aren't that amazing as we talked about either. So that's just my opinion there. But if you have a club legend that you're going to Evo, go for it. Have fun with that one. And it is cool, some of the upgrades that you can get. But I don't know, just not for me. Not where I want to spend my coins right now specifically as we head into team of the year. Couple of other really quick, these are the housekeeping things and I mentioned. Player of the month for League One is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. SBC could be today, tomorrow, Friday, somewhere in there. Also may not be until next week. We'll have to see. Uh, but Aubameyang is going to be getting himself a POTM SBC. I would imagine that it's going to be around the level of the radioactive card. It's, it'll be an upgrade over his inform, which I think is 86 rated. So he is going to get an SBC pretty soon for that. So not too shabby. And then also... We have a title update that is upcoming. EA is doing all sorts of stuff right now. There's a lot to keep track of. There's going to be a game update here very soon. And one of the things they mentioned in the game is getting rid of this. I just claimed five objectives. I think I actually have the daily play to claim. But sometimes when you claim your objectives here, it'll still say uh, that you have objectives to claim. And you're like, no, I don't. I just claimed them. And there will still be a number up there. So what this title update is going to do, one of those things at least, is going to be fixing... Uh, that's up there. Wow, Kulabali, 84 rated. I will take that. See, that's why we do our daily play objectives. You get like free 83s and 84s and both of the picks. Come on, man. I'm, I'm definitely taking that. That is dope. So that update, I think, is going to come maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty soon... Uh, addition to this game so watch out for an update and then yeah man that is basically everything that dropped yesterday on this game also if you logged into the game yesterday you maybe noticed they said there were going to be new champs rewards coming out we'll talk about that more tomorrow but it might update as soon as rivals rewards tomorrow for this weekend inside of this current season we'll see uh, because they also gifted everybody champs qualification points now that's enough yapping let's talk about team of the year guys are you ready I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already, but I want to show you the full team of the year 11 for the men's team, right? That's the full team of the year for the men's team. There's the women's team that's going to be coming out as well. It was crazy yesterday. It was absolute madness. Obviously, there's so much anticipation, and obviously, it's like, oh, why does this have to be leaked? It'd be crazy if it was just, you know, shown to us, like, on Friday when team of the year actually starts. But you guys know how it is with every promo. We get the leaks. And if you have not seen it, this is... The full team of the year 11. There's a couple surprises in here, right? I'll be completely honest. I'm wearing the Messi kit. I'm super excited for Messi to be in. This is probably his last team of the year ever, right? I've, I'm accepting that. I'm realizing that. A lot of you guys probably think the same. I love having one more chance. I wasn't sure if Messi was going to get it. He's probably one of the most controversial additions to this team. Also at right back, Frimpong, probably the second most controversial addition to this team. A lot of people wanted Trent Alexander-Arnold. He was leaked by some of those people earlier in the week that we were saying, don't follow those leaks because they're shady. Frimpong was the actual card, is the actual card, right? So be careful once again with the leaks that you see. But Rodri gets into this team just after having a versus fire or ice. I was not expecting that, as I mentioned. I'm surprised by that. But hey, he is in. We've got Ruben Diaz, Allison, VVD, Teo Hernandez, KDB, Bellingham, Holland, and Mbappe. So it's close to what I expected. But I think the Frimpong, the Messi, and honestly, the Allison too. Let me know down in the comments what card you think got snubbed. I know a lot of people are saying, ah, Vinny, Salah, Trent, uh, Ter Stegen. A lot of people are saying as a goalkeeper got snubbed. And even like Bernardo Silva. Some people think should have got in as well into the team of the year. So we're not all going to be happy, right? But this is the final team of the year. Now, I will say about this team right here in this graphic, these ratings, these stats, uh, the positions, the dynamic images, not final. What is final about this is the player name. This is the league team with the names. Again, Frimpong might be 94. Rodri might not be 97. You know, Messi might not be 98. He might be 97 as well. Who knows? The ratings right now, we do not know. All we know is is the players that the names are all that we know the ratings we do not so with this being released oh boy do we have some market panic this graph of cristiano ronaldo's uh trailblazers card which ronaldo was nowhere near this leak this uh like this team at least right now could he be in a 12th man vote could he be in honorable mentions we'll talk about that but this is how a lot of graphs look right now in this game he started the day at 350 
He is now 300,000 coins and has dropped a ton. Diani is another one, 430,000 coins. Guys, prices across the whole entire market are dropping a lot, especially in that middle tier range, right? Players that are like anywhere between 100K and like a million coins. That's even a little bit of a high tier range. Prices have started to drop because it's like, okay, team of the year is setting in. And this is kind of what we expected, right? We expected some of these drops, but I think more panic is coming. As I watch prices across the market today, yes, yeah, some of them like Diani and like Ronaldo like that are down horrendous, but other ones like Adiemi, he went from 200K to 185. Like that is a drop, but it's not that big of a drop. I think there are bigger price drops in store for us because we're not done with the leaks. There's more cards to be tweeted about posted about to for hype to be built about and that's what it is that's what causes the market crashes right hype for what is to come anticipation of good content great cards and a big promo like team of the year i mean we know that the guys that are leaking team of the year foot sheriff and his graphics designer criminal criminal said yesterday now for the women's team of the year right it i think women's team of the year is going to be leaked today and potentially some of the honorable mentions as well again honorable mentions are players who missed out on the final 11 of team of the year and that we will have additionally added to packs like we have had in previous years there are all those honorable mention players that are a little bit lower rated but they still kind of get like a you got to close to being in team of the year here's a special card for you now the players that got really close to being in team of the year um, the 12th man pick, there was actually a two packs that were added to the code yesterday, two 12th nominee player loan packs, one of which we think would be for the men, one of which we think would be for the women. Now, this is probably going to come out on Friday or Saturday, sometime during the first weekend of the start of the team of the year promo. And this will be our opportunity to vote for who we think should be the 12th man. And usually what the 12th man vote consists of is one player from the attacking part of the pitch that did not get into the team of the year 11, one midfield player, and one defender. So last year was Cancelo, Valverde, and um, oh Holland. It was Holland, Valverde, and Cancelo that were in the vote, and Holland won, and he was the 12th man. So it's probably, you know, these are good guesses, right? This is not confirmed. This is a guess. He's thinking Trent, maybe Ter Stegen. I guess there's no midfield option here for who could be in that vote. Maybe we'll say Bernardo Silva, and then maybe Kane, or Cristiano Salah, uh, Ronaldo or Salah could be in that vote as well if EA do it like they have in previous years. So just to make sure you know this, that is how the 12th man works. There will be a 12th man, it looks like, for the men and the women this year. And I do want to say this, like we talk about Team of the Year on Friday, Team of the Year on Friday, the countdown in game counts to Friday, but not all these cards are going to be in packs on Friday, right? It says Team of the Year will launch on Friday at 6 p.m., but what they usually do is they put the attackers in packs for two days. Then we get to Sunday. They put the midfielders in packs for two days. We get to Wednesday or Tuesday, and they put the defenders in packs for two days. And then on Friday, that's when we get everybody in packs. We get the icons in packs as well. And then we also get uh, the honorable mentions in packs. So that's kind of how it works. If you're like, Nate, I really want to open my packs, dude. I've been saving for months, and I want to open packs for team of the year. Well, to, to you, I would say... Hold on, I would not open those packs just yet because you want to wait until the full team of the year is in packs, except for maybe those position-specific packs like we're getting right now through SBCs. Those are the packs that I think it's okay to open if you want to. There's more players in packs if you wait for the full team, but if you want to open those early, you absolutely can. So that's everything related to team of the year. Now the question is, what in the world is going to happen today? How are we building in a team of the year even more today on this game on a Wednesday? Well, more warm-up packs, right? That's what we talked about earlier with fodder and prices probably going up because we're going to get more of those team of the year warm-up packs like we had with the 83.5 yesterday. If they continue to go on the trend, like I think they might, today could be the 83 times 5 midfielder and defenders upgrade, which probably will be a little cheaper than this one was. The attacker packs are always more because, you know, everybody wants to uh, pack the attackers. So watch out for those today. But also that is out there, a potential SBC that could be released is the 85 times three. So we have the 83 times five, but also the 85 times three has been added to the code as well. And that would be the most expensive pack out of all these, right? The 83 five that was dropped yesterday uh, did not require an inform. And I think the price of that SBC uh, if we double check on Footbin right now, is like, what, 32,000 coins? 32K for that? Which, including an 87 rated card, which is like half the cost, isn't that bad. It's just 
84s are super cheap, right? 83s are super cheap as well. That's why 83s are going up that much because that 87 rated card pulls up the rating uh, of the squad. So you don't need as many 84s to fill out the rest of the SBC. I think today an 83.5 for a midfielder or attacker is probably going to be like, like I said, an 85, two guaranteed with like an 83 squad. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. But if we get the 85 plus times three, that's our potential opportunity for informs to be quiet, uh, required once again, if you've invested in informs, of course, they've dipped down in price a bit. They're 29,000 coins because, again, there's not that much demand. Yes, the Henri requires a couple of informs inside the SBC. Yes, there's still other SBCs like the 83 times 10 that require the informs. But uh, there was no new pack that required informs, so they are down. But an 85 plus times 3, if it is dropped today or tomorrow, could require informs. And that could mean one more spike before we get to Friday with a lot of supply. I do think informs will be dropping heading into Friday. As people are worried about pack supply, there will be lightning rounds. Even though it's like everybody's holding their packs, right? For when all team leaders are in packs, the market's still going to get flooded with supply this weekend because it's team of the year. EA will get people to open packs for sure. So watch out for more warm-up SBCs today. Make sure you got your club stocked. If you need to go buy some fodder, it's probably better to do it before content today than after. And then we talk about more icon SBCs, right? We talked about Zico and Cafu yesterday. One of those two is coming today. Daily icon player SBCs. And since... Um, Henri was the base version. Whoever they end up dropping today, in my opinion, as my menus glitch out here, as you can see on the top there, that bar, hopefully that gets fixed with this update. I doubt that it will. But I have to assume that it's going to be base Zico today. I think it's going to be the base version of him since we had the base version of Henri. So if it's Zico or if it's Cafu, um, it's probably going to be not the Thunderstruck version or the Centurions version for Zico. It's probably going to be the base. And I will say, if we do get Cafu, like Cafu's card is not that expensive. Um, he very well could be an SBC that's right around seven to 800,000 coins. That's what his card was before he was leaked. Maybe a 700k SBC. And that's a right back that so many people would want to do. And that would be a lot cheaper, right, than other Icon SBCs. And that could make, A, some fodder prices move. And it could make some right backs drop. So, like, I'm trying to stay away a little bit from right backs. Because a player like Cafu, I think, impacts that position more than maybe like Zico does for center attacking mids and center mids, if that makes sense. Because Cafu is viewed as like an elite right back. He is one of the best right backs. And Zico is like, yeah, he's insane. But there's a lot of other great center mids and cams as well. So I think that if Cafu drops today, he could have some impact on the right back market. So I'd be careful with the right backs on this game. And uh, yeah, guys, SBC fodder rising high. That's why I'm continuing to lazy list the stuff that I have. I'm not worried about the prices dropping on fodder at all because so few people are opening packs it's a lot more demand than supply now for the rest of the market right we're talking about timing the buys for players for our team i sold schneider yesterday before the team of the year league started at 1.23 and i'm glad that i did i ended up losing tax on the card like i bought it for 1.22 but like look at him now he was in the 1.1 lows yesterday he's right now 1.18 but I'm glad that I sold that card. And I think, guys, that this is kind of your low point for a lot of cards like maybe this VVD. Now we know that VVD is getting into Team of the Year. His Team of the Year card is going to be mad expensive. It's going to have two playstyle pluses, right? Again, for all these cards, that's going to make them really expensive and really meta. So you want to watch a Winter Wild Cards VVD like that. Maybe it's Radioactive Messi that you want for your team. He was down at like 1.05 mil. That's a card a lot of people are going to want for their team. Maybe it's like Goalkeeper Van der Sar. Uh, maybe you want to be careful with him because the team of the year goalkeeper is always super juiced and usually not that expensive. Um, but watch those types of cards stay on this game. The rare ones, the big name players that are really insane. Like this version, this version of Salah. If Salah is in the vote for 12th man or if he's in honorable mentions, this card could drop. But if he's not in anything, this card could really go up a lot post team of the year. So it's kind of one of those decisions where if you want somebody for your team, it's a big name player, it's, it's a higher tier, maybe an icon, maybe a really meta card. Um, you know, you definitely want to watch those cards for drops today. Like I'm talking cards over a couple hundred thousand coins plus. You're going to want to watch those cards for the drops. Um, and when you see that, that panic, I, a rule of thumb that I always look for in market crash times, especially when we're near the low, like this card, Graham Hansen is one that, uh, wait, did I see, is that 800,000 coins, 790 K for Hansen. That's unbelievable. This card is one of the most meta cards in the game. I mean, if she gets a team of the year, 
um, then this one's probably going to drop a bit lower just because of the panic. But that team of the year for Graham Hansen is going to be so expensive um, just because of how meta she is with the finesse shot plus and the dribbling and everything. That's a card I would watch for sure with the panic and everything going on. This Teo Hernandez, really rare card. Yes, he's getting a team of the year. Watch his center back card as well. Even like special versions of Mbappe or like these heroes like Vincent Company, I'd keep an eye on Hemp. The Willian that just got upgraded. Wait, he's 91 rated. Oh my gosh, that card looks absolutely unreal. And I'm going to watch this one that's on open bid because you never know, right? Um, we're going to watch that, see if we can get a, a, a cheap bid. But like special versions for Holland, Futre, anything if you're on a higher budget, watch that part of the market because there could be opportunities to buy stuff that you could put in your team. And then you this is kind of like buying during the low point once team of the year starts. The really rare stuff just starts to climb up afterwards but watch the panic like i did with mateus just a bit ago i picked up a mateus for 1.2 mil flat and i sold it literally 15 minutes later for 1.3 mil flat now i'm taking the quick flips on a lot of things like that i'm not holding because i don't know what the market's going to do today and i think there could be more panic so just be careful in the market today make it quick flips and if you want to do something very risk-free just bid on low rated fodder and listed for lazies. You can even bid on 84s for like 2.4, 2.3K, try to get them there, and then list them up for like 3.3 to 4K. Yeah, you're not making a lot per card, but you'll get sales because that is where all the demand is right now for fodder on this game. So that's the big thing for today. Oh, also, new team of the week is coming today. We've got Don Ruma, DeMarco, uh, Hoyland for his goal and assist against Spurs uh, is getting a team of the week as well. The team of the week does not look that good, if I'm being honest, but... The team of the league is not selling packs this week. Team of the year is. So whether you're waiting to open packs, you got all of them saved, or whether you're crafting packs right now and ready for team of the year, we're all excited, man. We are almost here. Watch out for the women's leagues today. Honorable mentions any other news that we learned from EA. Also watch the loading screen, all right? Watch out for that loading screen and see if they update anything on that that might give us some many more news or information about content as a part of Team of the Year warm-up series. If you're excited for Team of the Year, once again, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. See you guys in the stream today. Link is down below in the description. Peace. Out.